And to lay that out for us, we're delighted to welcome back Anatol Kotau. He's Belarusian Democratic Forces Forum member. Anatol, welcome back to TVP World. Thanks for taking the time. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So uh, we're here. I mean, things are heating up at the Polish-Belarusian uh, border. And as you would expect, uh, many Many groups want to pitch in with uh, their commentary. Uh, first of all, one of the things that uh, we're hearing is that human rights organizations are, are, are saying that this, this buffer zone of 200 meters is actually going to penalize women and children in the uh, migrant groups. Um, have you any thoughts on how many women and children there are in, the, in those groups? Uh, actually, at this moment, not many. Still, uh, the, ma the major part of uh, migrants who are trying to, uh, illegal migrants who are trying to uh, uh, cross the Belarus and Polish border are young men. And uh, this is also shows that um, this crisis is artificial. It, it is being artificially uh, steered from uh, Minsk and also from uh, Russian allies uh, in order to uh, provoke uh, some responses uh, from European side and also to um, provoke a local crisis which will uh, drag some attention out from Ukraine. Mm. Right, and we do see that there are external powers that are responsible and behind this artificial crisis, like you mentioned. Um, but how do you think that now Belarus might officially respond to Poland's buffer zone, and how might this impact, well, already strained, if I may say, so relations between the two countries? Do you think it will be any, any reaction whatsoever, anything that would be shocking? Uh, actually, we should uh, look uh, back uh, one week, for example, because um, from my point of view, it's not the Belarus uh, who will respond for uh, Polish action. It's Poland who reacted for uh, for these um, types of provocations. Last week, uh, Prime Minister of Poland, Donald Tusk, announced that uh, he's about to open one more uh, uh, border crossing point on the border Bobrovniki. Uh, which was uh, closed uh, since uh, two years. And uh, it's not in Lukashenko's interest to ease uh, border crossing for uh, common people. So uh, in response for this, uh, uh, I would say, declaration of intent, uh, Poland received uh, the increasing number of migrants' attacks and also this uh, stabbing with a knife of a uh, Polish officer. So uh, first it was declaration to ease the border crossing for normal people, then Belarus and Russia responded in uh, uh, deepening, uh, in increasing this uh, artificial crisis. And uh, actually uh, Poland responded to that uh, action of uh, Belarusian and uh, Russian regimes in the way Russian and Belarusian regime um, expected. Buffer zone is actually what uh, Belarus and Belarus and Russia regime needs because they don't want to ease uh, the border crossing for uh, normal people. Illegal migrants uh, uh, will not be stopped by buffer zone or by stronger wall. It's uh, polyative measures, unfortunately. And this is exactly what Russia and Belarus uh, wants to do, to close the border from the inside for uh, people which are trying to flee the country also. Right. Well, that that's interesting. Now, there is, uh, you know, looking ahead, uh, let's, let's take a situation where uh, migrants aren't getting through the buffer zone. Uh, Prime Minister Tusk was very firm in his words uh, uh, on that topic yesterday. Um, is there a risk that Poland is then going to start to become, to be criticised 
for the condition of the migrants uh, on the other side within Belarus? Uh, for sure. Um... The, it's uh, really ridiculous and funny um, if you uh, look back who is the author of this, uh, where the roots of this artificial crisis is on Belarus and Russian side, definitely. And they are criticizing for, uh, they are criticizing constantly Poland uh, for actually three years of uh, all the beginning of this crisis in 2021, uh, actually, uh, for being not polite with the migrants who are, uh, I would say, have been invited by Poland or Germany to Europe. This is uh, a real uh, total lies, but uh, they are constantly using this message in propaganda. And actually, it's uh, uh, really pity uh, that uh, uh, some human rights defending organizations are also taking this narrative from Belarus and Russian regime, not trying to, um, I would say, uh, dwell on what is the reason of this crisis and who is the actual author of this crisis and it's Russian and Belarusian regimes who are to be criticized for sufferings uh, of uh, illegal migrants on this border. Right, so you mentioned also that now um, this buffer zone that we are discussing is of benefit to, to Belarus and Russia in a way. Um, so what do you think should be introduced instead so now their interests would not be catered towards? Uh, yes, this is a good point. Uh, um, we should look uh, what is the interest of Belarus and Russia. The interest actually is uh, quite uh, uh, simple. Uh, not to let people uh, from Belarus uh, and less from Russia to go legally to European uh, countries, to flee the countries, to lock people inside, because uh, uh, if we speak about Belarus, uh, different assumptions, uh, there are about at break, least right? half million of people, uh, half million of people actually left the country since uh, 2020. Some assumptions uh, gives us uh, figures even more. So he want to lock the people inside the country. And on the other hand, uh, he want to trade. He want to end uh, to end money uh, from, from the foreign trade with uh, European countries. So uh, uh, alongside with strengthening this wall, uh, the, uh, I would say, uh, opposite measures should be introduced to ease uh, people uh, passage, legal passage to uh, Europe and to uh, introduce more and more uh, measures to prevent uh, this uh, uh, trade with uh, Belarus and Russian regimes because regimes use this money to uh, invite more and more migrants. So uh, in fact, Europe is paying for uh, uh, deepening of um, this artificial crisis. Right. Well, thank you very much for laying that out, Anatol. We will, of course, be watching the situation carefully and we look forward to seeing you again shortly.